What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I am back at it with another video. Now you guys, I just got out the shower. As you can see, my hair is wet, but I'm doing a last minute video. I do, we just, me and my daughter just got back from the beach, the beach period, because you know, it's good to get some sunlight and go enjoy that ocean water. But you guys, today I just wanted to talk about the last video I posted, which was that people are not going to understand you on this journey. And on this journey that we call a spiritual journey, everybody is on a spiritual journey. We are on the journey of self-development and inner work and how far we can achieve wisdom. You know, we try so hard to get to a place in our life where we reach this age and you're like, oh yeah, that person is this old. They've reached a level of wisdom, right? I remember when I was younger, I used to be like, oh, you know, people with gray hair, um, you know, usually are people the ones that have wisdom. You know, like if I see someone with a gray hair, it's because they grew wisdom or whatever it is. But there was this saying when I was younger that people with gray hair have wisdom or whatnot. So as I got older, I started to realize that everybody's on a spiritual journey. Everybody's on a journey of self-development and nobody's journey is better than the others and it's that comparison where it splits us apart you understand you're one with everything you are no different from that person everybody's how everybody views people is usually a self-reflection of yourself what you judge in others is what you judge within yourself you get what i'm saying so people who like to just judge and judge and judge have you stopped and looked at yourself yet stop judging there is no room for to judge others before you judge others work on yourself judge yourself and be your own inner dialogue and critic and heal those wounds that are causing you to judge others i don't care what people have i don't care if someone has more money i don't care if someone has less money they are both equal i never treat anybody differently if you are poor or if you are rich and you are standing right in front of me. I am not going to treat you better than this person and less than this person. Because I feel like we are so caught up in today's society of this person is more important because they hold more value to 3D society than this person who has, you know, compared to 3D society, they're not well equipped. They don't have all these, you know, material items or possessions but this person is wiser. This person is more knowledgeable. This person is very experienced in the soul, in the in the energy work, in the inner work. But this person may have all the luxury and material items, but this person is just 3D material and they have no spiritual knowledge. They have no inner work dialogue. They are constantly criticizing everybody, including themselves, but don't know how, they don't have no self-development. Now, when we come into a position of that, you start to be like, oh, the whole time we're lied to, right? This whole matrix that we call life, we're lied to about these are the most important people. This is who you need to be, who you need to achieve to. And by all means, that's amazing if that's what you want to do. But that doesn't, that is not the only choice. If a small house in an average car and just living an average life is, is your dream life, then live it, live that life. If your life wants a luxury and a, a, a Bugatti and all that, then live that life. If that is your dream life, your dream does not have to be everybody else's dream. Just because they have something more doesn't mean you have to compare your life to others. We're so caught up in comparing our lives. Nobody's life is better than anybody because we're all actually suffering inside. If we really wanna be technical, most of the people who carry all these luxury, you know, don't have the inner inner wisdom and healing and self-love that we all think they have because of material possessions. We assume material possessions gives people happiness. It doesn't provide people happiness. There's been people who, there's, there's a, a saying that this guy said, he said, I've had everything and felt like I had nothing inside. And there was a guy who said, I have nothing like no, like, you know, huge luxury items, but I have everything right here. Like inside, I am love, I am cherished. And every moment I live with happiness and gratitude for just waking up, right? And that's how I live my life. And 
I always want people, yeah, of course, I want all these amazing things, but that doesn't mean that I'm not happy right now with what I have right now. Will the great things come? Eventually, yes. But am I going to be depressed and sad every single day because I'm not there yet? No, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm happy where I'm at today. And tomorrow I'll be happy if I'm up higher. And if in a week from now I'm back to square one, I'm still going to be happy because my happiness is not determined about is not determined on whether I have luxury items and I don't have luxury items, whether I have material possessions or I don't have material possessions. And the truth is when your happiness is revolved around what you have, you will continue to suffer. You must, you must learn to love yourself as you are, who you are in whatever phase you are in life. You have to learn to be okay in every phase of your life and be happy with every phase of your life. It's hard, it's not easy, but understand that that's just the flow of life. We're not always gonna be at 100 every day. We're not always going to be you know, at, at, at 20 and days we might just not know. We're just going with the flow that day and that's okay. That's okay, be okay with the flow of life. That's what today's video is about. Be okay with the flow of life because we are all here to just be to just be. We don't have to constantly be doing something. We can just be ourselves, be here and now. We're, what are we running after? Truly, what is it that we're really running after? If we're constantly chasing something, what are we chasing? Why don't we start being happy now and just enjoy the flow, the ups and the downs and the highs and the lows and just be in love with every moment that life gives us. Like, ah, oh, you guys, I'm onto something here. Anyways, that's the video that I just wanted to put out. I really was having like this inner like, what do I want to talk to my people about? Like, what, what video do I want to put out? The truth is the video is that I want to put out is that you guys matter and you guys are loved in every phase of your life. And I hope you learn to love yourself and every phase of your life and in your healing and your spiritual journey and whatever journey that you're on. Stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Your journey is as important as mine and yours and mine is important as yours. Nobody is better than anybody. We are all here just trying to be. Have an amazing day and I can't wait to put out another video. Peace.